Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm testing and reviewing the Big Agnes Copper Spur Ultralight Mountain Glow. This is a single person tent. I'm gonna go over the features and benefits with you. I'm gonna set it up right now and we're doing a little camping out here at Figueroa Mountain on the central coast of California and I have ants crawling on my arm which is awesome but no big deal. Um, we're gonna go ahead and set this bad boy up and I'll show you why this thing is cool. All right, so I'm gonna set the tent up, show you how it sets up, and show you why you would consider buying a tent like this, because this thing is way cool. All right. I am using just a regular ground cloth. This is actually an emergency blanket uh, that I got off Amazon. I'll put the link down in my description box. It's only $5, it weighs less than Tyvek, and it's waterproof. Now the poles are actually, or actually pole, I should say. It's a series of poles and they're all linked together. So there's no risk of actually losing any. And they're all DAC treated. And it actually comes with a emergency repair splint. So if your pole snaps or whatever, you can actually fix it out in the backcountry. Pretty cool, they didn't have to give you that, but you get what you pay for. Big Agnes is top quality. Pole system is really cool. It just sets up all shock corded together. The entire pole system is all connected. So you're not gonna run the risk of actually losing any poles, which is really cool. So once you get it all dialed in, you have the orange right here. Those two go on this side right here. So it makes things easy to set up because you have orange in the corners here. And these are just, I'll get a little closer with the camera, but these just pop in. They're little grommets. Just like that. And there's your basic frame construction. This is for your crossbar. I'll get to that in a minute. But at this point, what you do is you just kind of start clipping it together. So here's your basic setup. I'm gonna set the, move the camera a little bit closer and then I'm gonna set the crossbar just so you can see how that sets up. So the crossbar is actually really cool. It's like a ball and cup kind of a feature. So it kind of just snaps in place just like that. And then you do the same on the other side. And then once that's set up, there's your actual, it's all set and everything's nice and rigid. Nice and strong, it's not gonna collapse on you or anything like that. You can also see the pocket for the um, Mountain Glow uh, battery box, and there's your USB port for the battery, or your USB cable for the battery, and the Mountain Glow actually goes all the way through here. It comes with its own little stuff sack for the stakes. And the stakes are actually really, really nice. They're, they're V-shaped stakes but they're also DAC treated. I don't know if you can see that with the, the shade. But yeah, all the stakes are DAC treated aluminum, really, really lightweight, and they're very strong. And you get one, two, three, four, you have eight of them. So you have plenty of stakes. Now, of course I am car camping. I actually have the luxury of having a mallet with me, but if I was in the back country, I would just use a rock or another stick. What I really like about this is this huge door, okay? So this big door right here, that's really gonna make getting in and out of this thing super easy. So let's get the rain fly out. I'll set the rain fly up. I'll show you what's, uh, how that sets up. And same kind of scenario. You have orange buckles. These are all reflectives too. And the orange buckles go right in here to the orange side. This way you know and makes things easy to set up. All 
The other side has gray buckles right here. Okay. Over here, there is a little window and you can lay this flat too, in case you just don't want to have a little ventilation. I always like to keep it open, just so you can increase your ventilation inside the tent. Now we'll set the other stakes up. All right, so as you can tell, it has this big vestibule, so you can put all kinds of stuff under it. You can put your gear, your boots, all kinds of stuff you can keep out of the rain in case you're getting to some inclement weather. You could also totally close this if you need to. Just like that. Just have these little Velcro tabs right here. So that'll keep it all nice and neat. I really like the way it sets up. It's super easy. So these are where you would attach your rain fly, your vestibule rather. Kind of just roll this up. And attach this around there. And then if you need to, you could also do the same on this side. Wrap this all up. So now it's completely open and you have easy access to get in and out of this thing, right? Total rain coverage, very strong. It is a, it is a freestanding tent, so you don't necessarily have to stake it if you don't want to, but it's always good to stake these tents. This way they, they stay put, especially if it starts getting really windy and especially if you're in the middle of the night and you get caught in like a big windstorm and starts to move around on you, it's always good to have it staked down. All right, so I'll kind of just go over the do a little once around for you. Now, as I said, that's just an emergency blanket that I'm using as a ground cloth. Not a big deal. It was like $6 on Amazon, I think, or five. Uh, but it weighed next to nothing, so that's why I got it. It is waterproof as well. And you can see here, nice little ventilated window. And that's really gonna increase the ventilation inside this tent. All your buckles are quick release and you can tighten these down, grab a hold of these, you can make these tighter. Here is also reflective, right on these little tabs on all four. You do have extra guy outs right here if you need to, which are also reflective. That little guy line on the side there really increases the waterproofness on the side here. And here's the orange tabs, also reflective. And all the string is reflective as well, so all your, your cordage here, all reflective. Really, really nice solo person tent. All right, so now I have my quilt and my sleeping pad inside. Plenty enough room, you know, I'm six foot about 165 and it fits me perfectly. I am gonna get the GoPro now and we're gonna get inside because it has a much wider lens on it. All right, so I'm inside the uh, Copper Spur Mountain Glow single person. And as you can tell, I'm, as I said, I'm six foot, about 165. And I have probably another six to eight inches at my feet. Over here, I have probably another six to eight inches at my head. I can sit up in this tent. I don't have very much room. I have about an inch or two before my head reaches the top of the tent. But all in all, I have plenty enough room to get dressed. Um, I could probably even cook in here if I did it outside under the vestibule, of course, uh, on a very, very low flame. And over here in the corners, I have pockets many many pockets I have a pocket here I have another media pocket up here so a dual pocket and then I have access port to the bottom here which is specifically for headphones so if I want to put like my iPhone up here I want to have my cord run through here then I could you know whatever I can listen to music while I'm in here 
There's also a second pocket up here that has the same thing. And if you notice, all along the top here, there's a clip here, 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 and then here. So even another clip back here. And that's if I wanted to string a, like a, a gear loft, which Big Agnes also makes. So I'll put a link for that down in the description box below as well. And in here is the mountain glow setup. It sits in this little kind of drawstring bag here. But this is your uh, mountain glow. So you have an on off button that goes to on off. It also gives you 50% and you have a USB right here. That's what plugs into that little USB right there. And on the inside, it just houses three, I don't know if you can see that, it just houses three AAA batteries. So pretty simple. You can also use a USB power port if you want, like a battery bank. So what you do, basically just plug this little bad boy in like that. And this little guy sits in its own little pocket real nice out of the way. Then you can just turn it on and all through here, and then on here, I'm laying on my back showing you this. Sorry, it might be easier if I did it this way. So all through here, and then down through the Y, is all an LED light strip that's sewn in. So I'll show you what that looks like at night. I'm sitting inside my Big Agnes uh, Copper Spur Mountain Glow Ultralight. And here's the Mountain Glow feature right here. Nice little LED light strip that's stitched into the fabric. And you have your on off switch right here. So I could turn it into low and I could turn it off. And then back on, low, off. And leave it on for a little while. All in all, this is definitely one of the best single person tents I've ever tested. In my opinion, with the Mountain Glow feature, it's worth every penny. Big Agnes makes great stuff and uh, I really like it. So this tent has a packed weight of about 2 pounds 10 ounces with a trail weight of 2 pounds 4 ounces. Uh, it also has a fast fly feature so you can actually set this tent up as a fast fly meaning that you could leave the tent body at home and with the Big Agnes ground sheet that's uh, sold separately you can actually just attach the rain fly and the poles to the ground sheet and save yourself some weight. Pretty cool design. There are other companies that make that feature as well but it's really nice that you, when you have a tent like this that you have multiple features. So the fly and the floor are silicone treated ripstop nylon with a 1200 millimeter polyurethane coating. So that's really going to make things watertight, waterproof. So it's going to keep you away from the uh, elements, making sure you stay dry and comfortable. So this is, as I said, a single person tent. You know, you could probably fit two people in this tent if you're really squeezed in uh, or one person and a very small dog but it's designed as a single person tent, solo backpacking. Uh, you can car camp with it, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I do really enjoy this tent. It's very, very small and it's lightweight uh, and it packs down really, really small. It fits right in my backpack. Let's carry a, a pretty hefty price tag of just over $400, but when you buy Big Agnes, you're getting a lifetime warranty and you get what you pay for. I mean, these tents are built to last and their their company is top notch. So yeah, you spend a little bit more, but you're buying it for life. You know, it's one of those things where when you buy it, you don't have to buy it again. And you know you're not going to risk, uh, you know, of it breaking. And if it does break, you know, you got a good company that's going to stand behind you uh, and take care of things if it does happen. All in all, that's what you pay for. You know, you really, you pay for the quality and construction and the features and benefits. But you're also paying for a good company that's going to stand behind you. As well as Big Agnes makes good products, they also do a lot of good in this world. All right, guys, so that's my review of the Big Agnes Copper Spur Mountain Glow Ultralight one solo person tent this is from big agnes here's their website right here definitely want to make sure you check these guys out these guys are making really really nice products and they have been for a really long time if you like my review and found it informative you want to buy one of these for yourself i'll put a link down in my description box below when you click on that link and make your purchase it helps support my youtube channel so i really appreciate all the help and love and support you guys have shown me if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below in my comment section i will get back to you as quickly as i can also too please like share and subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative thanks very much for tuning into my channel please keep checking back for more gear reviews outdoor related hodgepodge and giveaways take care guys get outdoors